Hello YouTubes and welcome to yet another Fireworks Mania devlog. And yes, this is a devlog because last week I made a little poll on the community tab on my YouTube channel and it seems like the most of you like to watch devlogs. Um, some of you like live streams, blah, 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 blah. live streams, few of you like these new shorts. So these new shorts are mainly just to try and get some algorithm juice into Google and have them to promote my channel. But anyway, devlog is what you guys want. The downside for me is that they are kind of hard to do. Um, well, it takes a longer time to do because I need to edit and record and kind of plan it out and stuff like that. So that's why I have hold back a little on doing devlogs lately. But um, as it seems like the majority of you wants the devlogs, I'll try and get back to it. So this week I'm trying something new. I'll try to actually record chronologically what I'm doing and uh, then edit it together without too much fancy stuff, even though every time I start to edit it, I always want to do some fancy stuff with audio and sound effects and whatever. But um, yeah, I want to try and see if I can do it and with, with some cool kit uh, jump cutting, make it uh, fast paced and fun to watch. But uh, anyway, let's get started. So today Fireworks Mania is on the front page of Steam as a daily deal, Woo! actually running for 48 hours, but it's called daily deal, so um, that's uh, what it is. And that have uh, sent a lot of people to the Fireworks Mania Steam page, so there's a lot of new players and a lot of new people in the community. I will start out today, it's Sunday today, I will start out by um, going through the, this, uh, <laughs> through the, so I'll start out by going through the, I will start out by going through the discussion. No, it's not called a discussion. So I'll start out by going through the community hub on Steam and answer some of the new questions that I've got in the discussion section. So uh, let's start out by doing that. One thing I see here is that there is a lot of, um, of course, coming questions of what is coming and what is the plan in the game. So, and I, I as you might know, in the Discord, I have a... Um, a roadmap of the game, at least a high-level roadmap of what I want to do and in which or in which order. So I think as we actually put the same thing here on Steam because it makes sense to have it there, right? Instead of having this um, other pinned task with the release date because it's kind of not relevant anymore. So I think I'll add this um, roadmap right away. Let's do that. So then we've been through the community hub and uh, now let's get into some of the minor fixes I want to have in the next small update for the game. So let's take a look at that. So this is the project for version 2021-2.2 and as you can see I've added some stuff over here that are done. I have nothing in progress right now because I just been through the community hub but I have one important thing left. This is actually fuses can get really long if fireworks are blown away. So this is the scenario where you have put together a lot of fireworks then fused it all together. One of them goes off and blows all the other stuff away. And right now the fuses don't have any length to them, so they can just, you know, keep going. So if uh, one little tiny uh, firecracker or something is thrown away, the fuse will just be a long fuse um, from where it started to where it ended up. And if it's a slow fuse, that can take quite a while before it gets to it. So we don't want that. So my idea for this is that I will do some logic that will so let's say it started like this and then I allow it maybe up to here before I snap the fuse and it goes away. Um, this way when things are blowing up like this and th things are flowing, uh, flying all around the place, the fuses will be dropped, which is more realistic if you can say so. But it's also, um, it avoids all these crazy long fuses that look totally misplaced and it just takes hours for these slow fuses to get all the way through. So I'll try to fix that now. Let's jump right into it.
so let's try it out here we take this one again up again and we do a fuse boom boom all working fine so now if we go over here it should snap at some point oh it snapped and just to make sure everything still works this one works no fuse thingy mm -hmm. okay so it worked let's just try out this other thing from before where we had a lot of snappers here so let's see here mm -hmm. no fuses anymore of course I need to test it a little more but it um, seems promising so far so this actually worked out pretty good. It was a pretty simple fix, just checking the initial length and then calculating if it's it's longer than, than what we allow, which is currently the double length. I will do some more testing, but the initial thing is in place and it actually works out. So that's pretty neat. This seems to work pretty fine, so let's check that change in. It was a small one. Um, we could add some sound and some effect maybe to when, when the fuse snaps. Uh, I think we might need to do that to, to make it clear what happened. Um, but for this initial version, I think this is fine. Just destroying the object, then it's gone. Everything is fine. Let's close this issue here. And then we only have this one back, which were the one I talked about in the beginning where I just needed to fix a little thing here because yesterday when I was looking into this carrot floating carrot box thingy I um, realized that this chair right here you can see the colliders here are all weird um, or not weird but it's a basic it's a <clears throat> mesh collider and it's performance wise pretty expensive and you can see that you cannot place anything here it acts weird so I want to change that to make it more um, efficient and be a little more precise as how the chair actually looks so let's do that So let's try it out and see if it works. So let's jump over here and see if the chair is now a little more as expected. Well, shouldn't be like that, but ah, okay, it tips over because it gets into that. Oh, what a mess. Stand up there and we should be able to put this, whoop, oh, dang it. That's We can push it here and we can maybe this little thing going out here should also be affected yep so it acts much more correctly now as it should but as you saw it started by tipping over so um, let's take a look at that so it seems like it's because it's buried in the dirt here dirt here so let's get it a little up a little that doesn't do this crazy thing and let's try and take the game window over here so we have to it is a window here and once we hit start and the game loads we can to the left we can see yeah at what we want and to the right is basically just a game because just looking at the game to the right we cannot see what's actually happen actually happening in the greenhouse exactly when the game starts Okay, that seemed to do the trick. That was basically the last issue in this um, sprint here, you could say, or this project or this version or whatever we call it. I tried to combine these, um, have these small amount of tasks that I need to finish for each, each version and each iteration of, if you want, um, to actually make 
progress, you know, if you just get in thousands of things or hundreds of things you need to do, it's like, you know, you never get through it and you will burn out before getting to it. So I keep it nice and tight and in smaller iterations with smaller changes at the time. Um, so it's uh, doable. So this was the last thing for the 2021 2.2. And all I need to do now is update the change log and then zip it and put it up on Steam. So I can inform you guys about it being ready on the experimental branch. So let me put it up there and make it ready. The changelog updated, all that is left is actually to do a build of the game, zip it and put it up on Steam. So I just did that and that means that you can now go and get it on the experimental branch. And now you might be wondering, well, what is the exper experimental branch and how do I get there? Well, Steam allows a game to have different branches, meaning different versions, you could say. And this is a way for me and other game developers to put up a version of the game that is not quite finished or I need we need to test out with you guys or something like that. So I have this thing called uh, Experimental Branch right now, where I put up stuff like this, the next version of the game. On the experimental, some of you guys want to check that out, help get some feedback, find bugs and stuff like that. And then get back to me on either the community hub on um, Steam or on Discord, so I can fix bugs and stuff like that. And if some nothing comes back uh, over a couple of days, then I will push it out to everybody on the default branch, so that everybody who has the game will get the update. So it's kind of a, a beta, public beta stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. In case you didn't know. So let me show you how you actually switch between these branches in Steam and join this one. If you don't see the branch in there, or if changing to that branch doesn't do anything, it is because there either there are nothing new in the branch and therefore it's not showing up, uh, or and if it's showing up, it might also be the same version. So that's when you switch it, nothing really changes. So typically you can switch and you can see it change and you can also in the game up in the menu up at the right, you can see the version number and you can compare that to what you have on the default one. But let me show you how you actually switch in case you are wondering. So here you have stream, <laughs> here you have Steam and you find Fireworks Mania, right click, go to properties, go to betas and then in this drop down <clears throat> you will find something called experimental, testing out new things right now, but experimental is the important one. I have a, f right now I have another one and I could also potentially have more here, but they are kind of, you know, for my purpose only. Um, that's because I'm testing it out here before getting it to you guys here on the experimental branch. But anyway, don't worry about that. You can see none or experimental and none is basically just the default game, the actual game that is in the store that everybody have and the experimental branch are new things. So you can switch to this. What you will typically see is that right when you do this, it will start updating the game and you will have the new one and you can also see experimental, it says over here um, with the name. And then you know you are on the experimental branch and it's the latest. Of course, the experimental branch will, as you see this right now, February, March of 2021, it will contain these latest thing I just showed you in this video, but um, but in the future, of course, it will contain other stuff. The save and load will most likely also get there soon and, and all that stuff. So just a little small <laughs> guide to how you switch. I was thinking that this devlog should kind of be recorded over a week, um, but uh, actually as this is now going out to the experimental branch, it might be nice to have this devlog out today. So I, in this video, can say, now it's on the experimental branch, go and check it out. And then start doing the same thing from tomorrow, where I will be more working on the upcoming save and load thing that will go on a different branch that you can test out. But more about that later. So I will actually try now, I know this is a little meter, but I will try now and cut this video that you've just watched <laughs> uh, quickly together without too much fancy pants. And um, if you got so far in the video, um, please let me know what you think. Um, there will be more ums and ahs and stuff like that, because I will try and 
find a sweet spot between quality and quantity when it comes to these devlogs. So I will see what how much magic I can do in the editing thing without spending too much time on it. So uh, let's see. This was a test uh, and this devlog was actually going on only for one day, meaning only actually a couple of hours, like four or five hours where I've been developing the game on and off. But um, my plan is to do the same thing, but over maybe my Monday to Friday or something like that or something like that and then cut it down to a devlog that I can then publish in the video weekends. Let's see. It, it's a new thing. Trying out stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like. Leave a comment. What do you think? And see you in the next video. Bye.